Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a um, scatter plot in Excel and then copy and paste it into a Word document. So let's say maybe you're working on a project and you have a bunch of data that you need to analyze and you want to be able to put your results into a Word document so that you can print it out and put all of your answers with it. So um, what we're going to do here is I have a data set where this represents the year since 1980 and the population is in thousands. So I'm going to highlight the elements that I want to create the scatter plot for. And you can either use the quick analysis tool down here and go to charts and select scatter plot. Or if you don't have that option, because I've um, been working with some students on different projects and I found that not every um, Excel, especially if you're working on a Mac, does not have that. So if I just go to insert, and I can go to recommended charts to see if it shows up. Um, I can go to all charts or I could just more easily go to the scatter plot one and select scatter plot. Okay, so there's some elements that we always want to have in here and I don't really like the color of this one. Um, I'm gonna make it to where you can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna select one where you can see the dots a little bit better. Okay, um, this one also up here, the second one kind of makes it highlight a little bit better. Um, you can make choices. You could do a red one. You could do black. You could do all sorts of different colors. Um, if you have to print it, just keep that in mind of which one is going to give you, um, it's going to print the easiest. Okay, and then what we want to do is add some chart elements to this. We always want to have our primary horizontal and our primary vertical axes so we can label them. So once I put the axis title in here, I can say that this is my year since 1980. And I can click this axis title here, and I can put my population in thousands. Okay, and then the chart title, maybe I want to say that this is city A or whatever it's talking about. It may be a store, it may be whatever you're talking about. You're going to put as your chart title so that anybody looking at it clearly knows what's happening. Okay, the other thing that I want to include on here is the trend line. And for this one, it's kind of hard to tell what this is. I know what kind of model it is because I created it. Um, but one thing that you can do is you could put your grid lines in or your trend line, sorry. You can select a linear. And if you notice with the linear, a lot of the points in the middle are below and the ones at the ends are above, which means that it's probably going to be more of an exponential model. So if we select exponential, notice how it goes through almost every single one of those points. And so the exponential model is the better model for this one. And I knew that this one was exponential because I set it up that way. Okay. Um, so now what I want to do, once I have it set up to show the trend and I see the scatter plot and I have all of my labels nicely um, out there, what I want to do is I want to take and copy this. So there's two options for copying. I usually just hit control and the letter C. You can't see that it did anything, but it does. It copies it. So I can hit control C and then I can open my Word document and hit the control and V. And then it pastes it into here. Okay, I'm going to control Z and undo that in case you guys have trouble with that. Um, the other option that we could have done is we could have right clicked and then hit copy. And then it will do the same thing. And then I can come over here and I can right click and I can paste it. And it just says use the destination theme and embed into here. Okay, that's fine. And so we would put this in here. Let's say that you want to be able to write around it. And again, I am using Word 2016 and an Excel 2016. So yours may look slightly different. Okay, so once you have it in here, what I like to do is I like to do the layout options and I like to be able to um, write around it. So I can do text wrapping with this where you go around it, where it's square, tight, um, through, you can write over it. I don't really like those. There's more options. Um, so you can go to text wrapping. Whoops. Let me just go back to here. Um, I'm going to do tight and then that way and I can fix this position on the page and then I can write things around here. So if I wanted to write over here, um, this is an exponential model and I could explain what I wanted to. If I don't do where I can write around it, then it won't let me, it would just write, let you write below. So um, you can always do things like that in your project. If you want it to be able to move um, with it, then 
Um, if you hit enter for different things, it'll move it around during the page. You can move the papers. There's a lot of different things that you can do, but the main purpose of this was just to show you how to embed a figure into your document and then be able to write around it. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there's additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.